Правіше! 0,25! Ukraine's army is readying itself for further conflict with Russia, holding drills near annexed Crimea in case its eastern neighbor invades. Britain has delivered fresh military equipment, including anti-tank weapons, to Kiev, a move Russia calls a provocation, as the Prime Minister issued this warning to the Kremlin. If R Russia were to make any kind of incursion into Ukraine of, of, of any, uh, on any scale, whatever, I think that that would be a uh, disaster for, not just for Ukraine, but for Russia, it would be a disaster for the world. The White House is on a damage control mission. The US president seeking to clarify comments he made on Wednesday that a minor incursion into Ukraine might result in a lesser response from the West than a full-scale invasion. Any assembled Russian units move across the Ukrainian border, that is an invasion. But it will be met with severe and coordinated economic response that I've discussed in detail with our allies, as well as laid out very clearly for President Putin. But there is no doubt, let there be no doubt at all, that if Putin makes this choice, Russia will pay a heavy price. From Berlin, America's top diplomat stressed the West stood united. He meets with his Russian counterpart in Geneva on Friday, but with Russia's core demand an end to NATO expansion, the one area where NATO won't budge, those talks won't be easy. Sergei Karaganov is among the more hawkish viewpoints that you'll find in Moscow, and he's tight with the Kremlin's inner circle. A NATO expansion uh, was, uh, it was a cancer, cancer which was in, introduced into the body of, uh, of, the, of the subcontinent. We will have to uh, heal it. By deploying 100,000 troops? If needed, even more. You don't heal by force. I am sorry. Uh, you need uh, sometimes to heal a uh, cancer. You have to mm, go for an operation. That message has sunk in. The latest opinion polls showing that most Russians believe it is NATO and the US, not Russia, who were responsible for tensions over Ukraine. But it's another question whether they're prepared to send in their young men to fight. Vladimir Putin has made an art form out of keeping people guessing, and that is just the way he likes it. But there is one issue on timing which does seem reasonable, and that is that China is about to host the Winter Olympics. Now, the last time they hosted the Games was in 2008, when Russia invaded Georgia. And given the fact that he is interested in maintaining good relations with the Chinese leader, it does seem unlikely that President Putin would do that again. Both sides for now say they'll keep on with diplomacy and dialogue. And Russia still insists it has no intention of invading Ukraine, even if most in the West don't believe it. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.